everyone. I bought this Clockwork Trucks Road Roller um, and I thought it's a simple project I'll put it together see what we think of it. The thing is I'm working on other projects and they're taking me forever to do so I haven't loaded anything up recently and I do apologize for that. I can't load something all the time unfortunately but hey let's have fun with this one and see how it, how it works what happens to it. So guys, it's an interesting concept here, which I like. It says, basically, it says, build it, wind it, and go. Moving 3D puzzle with wind-up motor. Easy assembly, no tools required, which is, which is fantastic for uh, something simple project like this. This is what you got in here. You got the little wind-up motor there, and the uh, rest of the stuff. Has all the instructions of how to do it. Hang on. It's not as easy as you think by the looks of it. Has all the instructions. So you have two cards like this. If you pop out, I suppose, and start building. The marking is not as good. Um, obviously on here, it tells you everything as in like numbers there. But on here, you have to figure out which is which, which is fine. So this being number three, I bought this out, that's number three. The, this one being number, number two, which is a piece that goes into that hole there, there. That's number two, and these are number ones from this one here. You get this thing to poke out all the slots wherever you need to. It's very well made though, because it's, I think it's plastic and it's, it's, very, it's pretty strong, so I like that.
Okay, at this point I'm going to have to explain a few things. For instance, this one was very hard to put on and uh, the, the these these here, I don't know if you can see, these things were hard to find but I found them, they pushed onto these two from that one there, pushed on there. Pu I push these on first then they go on there. I stand on the other side but this thing here, this thing here, it goes the two slits go inside there and then it folds round and um, it was a bit difficult but these two bits I didn't take off here so I, when I got to it I, I pushed them off and I clip onto there. This piece is, is reasonably difficult to put on but you can do it. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, sorry I dropped that. Uh, you can do it but you have to just kind of persevere with it and push it down. I thought this bent but they don't really bend, they just go inside go inside these things and that's it really. So if you do make one of these you're gonna to have to have patience. But I think it's it's a good design all in all but some things are not 100%. So when I put this side on there I found it really difficult to get these two pins in there um, these two pins in there. So what I had to do is cut this leg off here a bit. If you can see, I cut the leg off so this can come down. Otherwise, it's, whole, it's touching this, and this part just doesn't come down. So I had to cut it off. So when I did this one now, fold it around here, I had to push it right in an angle, like like angle that way inside there to get that in and then the rest of it just follows through nicely as you can see.
Well, that's the project done now. That, that works beautifully. I love the idea of this wind-up thing here. And I don't think I've ever seen this before. But what I like about the actual uh, project itself, or, or these things, is that it's made like a plastic and it's not flimsy. It's not like you can break it very easily. And it does uh, hook on properly and it doesn't fall apart like some of the projects I have done. Um, the only thing I found that it is a bit tough, but once you get used to it and once you know what you're doing, it works out great. So, oops, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Seems to be going that way. <laughs> thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up.